drum roll please, ladies and gents. Here are the best World Cup kits, as voted for by you. They say, a home shirt combining the traditional home kit colors of the country, white and green. Our verdict, another absolutely plain kit. Yippee. They say, the away jersey is green and white, based on the same design as the home kit. Our verdict, green. They say, white, based on the popular Condivo 18 template. Our verdict, classic. Rather like the old Germany home shirt. B plus they say, the Costa Rica home kit features a subtle DNA lines design on the front. It is mainly red with a white crew neck collar, the traditional colors of the country. Our verdict, looks a bit like the kind of knockoff football shirt you'd find on a dodgy South London market stand, with gooners written across the chest instead of an arsenal badge. They say, white with a red collar and a red swoosh on the right chest. Our verdict, just like the England home kit, only marginally more interesting. They say, red, based on the same template and featuring the same graphic found on the home shirt. Our verdict, just like the England away kit, only, um, marginally more interesting. They say, a classic red design with dark blue shorts and red socks. Our verdict, boring. Plain. Routine. Run of the mill. Humdrum. Dreary. Banal. Unoriginal. Spiritless. Insipid. Etc. They say, predominantly white, with a bold blue and red graphic print subtly inspired by a tiger pattern and the Teguk symbol. Our verdict, much better, although it does look a bit like a crayon wielding toddler has been let loose on the New England shirt. Which nevertheless remains a huge improvement. They say, the Tunisia 2018 World Cup away shirt is red with white details. Our verdict, if this football shirt was a British sporting personality, it would also be Steve Davis. They say, white with red crew neck collar and cuffs, and a dotted gradient graphic. Our verdict, if this football shirt was a British sporting personality, it would be Steve Davis. They say, Adidas claim the away kit features a sleek design in blue and yellow. Our verdict, that subtle pattern is very nice. One of the better plain Jane kits to be worn in Russia. They say, the traditional yellow and blue, with a subtle jacquard pattern on the front. Our verdict, nothing to write home about, to be honest. Unless you're writing the solitary word boring, that is. They say, another 1980s inspired kit. Halo blue with bright orange trim. Our verdict, it's, okay. Not a patch on that smashing home effort, mind. They say, draws inspiration from Mexico's kits of the 1950s. White with a green, white and red chest stripe. Our verdict, looks a bit like something Roger Federer would wear to win the Australian Open. And we're very much okay with that. They say, manufactured by Adidas, featuring the country's traditional green color with white applications. Our verdict, yum. They say, an understated or white kit with subtle gray trim. Our verdict, Adidas deliver a top draw kit yet again. A lovely way to round off the gallery.
Thanks for reading. They say, the reverse of the home shirt. Our verdict, yes, we can confirm that this is the exact reverse of the home shirt. They say, an area produced kit which incorporates the traditional home colors of blue, red and white. Our verdict, nice, if a little bit bargain basement. They say, a clean design in Silver Lake Blue, with an engineered jacquard graphic in the middle of the jersey. Our verdict, what's Spanish for horrific v-neck? They say, made by Adidas and inspired by the classic 1994 home strip. Our verdict, get it on my torso now. They say, white with red trim, with the nation's flag running down the center. Our verdict, very difficult to criticize. But we'll have a go, the collar is a bit naff. Other than that, no complaints. Now be on your way, sir be away. They say, a smart strip in white and blue with subtle geometric pattern. Our verdict, now that's more like it. Big mistake not making this the home kit in our ever so humble opinion. They say, an all white design inspired by the country's naval history. Our verdict, cleaner than Kim Woodburn's kitchen. Lovely stuff. They say, a clean design in dark green with subtle zigzag print. Our verdict, oh dear, clearly Nike used all their budget on the home shirt. About as exciting as a songs of praise marathon. They say, white shirt, blue sleeves and white socks, with a distinct graphic print. Our verdict, why couldn't Nike have given this to England? As smooth as Zinedine Zidane's shiny bald head. They say, predominantly royal blue, with bright orange trim and a jazzy pattern down one side of the shirt. Our verdict, very solid. Colombia right up there with Germany for the best pair of shirts in the business. They say, produced by Adidas with a traditional color scheme, inspired by the iconic home shirts worn in the 1970s and 80s. Our verdict, yes. If it's good enough for James Rodriguez it's good enough for us. They say, based on the same design as the home shirt. Royal blue with a unique star pattern covering the front. Our verdict, yeah, fine, okay. They say, black jerseys with neat white and blue trim, white shorts, black socks. Our verdict, woof, coming to a five-a-side court near you very soon. They say, the red base from Portugal's Euro 2016 triumph is retained, with Nike introducing gold metallic trim and a green collar. Our verdict, yup, it's a template. But that doesn't stop it from looking smart. They say, a sleek and modern kit with sublimated check pattern on the front and white adidas strips down the sides. Our verdict, decent. Would make a nice Manchester United kit. They say, a traditional effort with subtle zigzag pattern. Our verdict, why change a winning formula? Bright, bold and very much Brazil. They say, yellow and black with a slight all over graphic print. Our verdict, yet another sublime Adidas away kit. Wolf whistles they say, the last ever Umbro kit for the country, Marathon Sports take over next year. Our verdict, you don't get more traditional than this. A proper football kit for proper football men. You can shove your XG up your A, etc. 
Hey say, according to Adidas, the shirt's bespoke look and graphic takes inspiration from traditional samurai armor. Our verdict, really lovely kit. Deserves better than the inevitable group stage exit. They say, the same template as the home shirt, but with a black and dark blue color scheme. Our verdict, very, very nice. A slightly gothic interpretation of the home shirt we all know and love. The football kit equivalent of late night Hollyoaks. They say, Nike offer a new interpretation of the team's iconic checker design, with much larger checks than usual. Our verdict, will look great on Luka Modric if he can keep himself out of prison long enough to wear it. They say, a classic effort that draws inspiration from the 1993 Copper America strip, coincidentally the last time Argentina won a major title. A verdict, a stylish strip befitting of little Leo Messi. Top draw. They say, red all over with a subtle St. George's cross motif across the front. Our verdict, it's red. It has a bit of a pattern thing going on across the front. We've already forgotten about it. Next. They say, white, black and inspired by the iconic 1990 strip. Our verdict, you've already seen this, and you already love it. If only it featured the colors of the German flag, though. They say, a traditional look with blue jersey, white shorts and red socks. Our verdict, another template. Another sexy kit. Damn you. Nike. They say, a bold design that takes inspiration from the iconic 1984 top. Our verdict, cracking. Atones for those atrocious bird efforts they've been palmed off with at the last few tournaments. They say, the first green German jersey since Euro 2012, inspired by the 1994 away effort. Our verdict, it's Adidas. It's green. It's great. Let me wear you, Germany away. They say, manufactured by Nike, with a white base with blue for logos and a modern knit pattern on the front. Our verdict, about as inspiring as Ian Duncan Smith. This country really is going to the dogs. They say, an eclectic combination of bright green, white and black in an especially bold design. Our verdict, outstanding, sensational, sublime. The nicest kit at this year's World Cup and destined to be worn at boiler room sessions from now until 2046. They say, a clean design in red and white, inspired by the 1988 USSR jersey. Our verdict, literally cannot muster up the enthusiasm to write any more words about this snorfist. How did you vote this to be the best World Cup kit, seriously how?